Las Vegas, the city of lights, was once illuminated by a different kind of glow, the fiery explosions of atomic tests. In the 1950s, just 65 miles from Sin City, the U.S. Army conducted nuclear ordnance tests that turned Las Vegas into a destination for a unique breed of thrill-seekers, nuclear tourists. But why was Nevada chosen for these tests? The Yucca Flats, located in the heart of the American wasteland, provided the perfect setting. Its remote desert location posed minimal threat to nearby homes, and with over 87% of the area owned by the federal government, there was plenty of space for these explosive experiments. As mushroom clouds rose over the horizon, the spectacle attracted visitors from across the country. Las Vegas, once a modest city of 25,000, quickly transformed into a bustling metropolis of 3 million people. Journalists dubbed it the non-ancient but nonetheless honorable pastime of atom bomb watching. Vegas, known for its showmanship, embraced the tests as a form of entertainment. The Vegas Chamber of Commerce even promoted the dates and times of the detonations, turning them into must-see events. Thrill-seeking tourists would flock to the closest spot possible to witness the awe-inspiring mushroom clouds. But the excitement didn't stop there. On the eve of detonations, Las Vegas businesses hosted dawn bomb parties. Guests would drink and sing until the flash of the bomb lit up the night sky. It was a surreal experience, a mix of fear and exhilaration. Yet amidst the terror, Vegas offered a refuge. Gambling, games, and television provided distractions from the surrounding fear. Visitors could escape into a world of entertainment, temporarily forgetting the looming threat of nuclear tests. Today, remnants of the nuclear tests can still be seen in the Nevada desert. The Yucca Flats is scarred with craters of all shapes and sizes, a testament to the power unleashed during those detonations. The Bilby Crater, created in 1963, is a massive hole measuring 1,800 feet wide and 80 feet deep. Its aftershock was felt all the way in Vegas. Another popular crater is Sedan, which stretches 1,280 feet wide and 230 feet deep. This 104 kiloton blast moved a staggering 12 million tons of Earth, equivalent to a 4.75 earthquake. Witnessing these blasts was a surreal experience, with the bright cloud climbing like a huge umbrella and the shockwave knocking unprepared onlookers to the ground. Over 12 years, a total of 235 bombs were detonated, with flashes visible from as far away as Montana. While scientists claimed that the radiation's harmful effects dissipated before reaching Las Vegas, residents in northeastern Nevada and southern Utah reported their pets and livestock suffering from burns and ailments. Eventually, the limited test ban was put in place, ending above-ground nuclear testing at the site. The era of atomic tourism may be over, but the legacy remains. Las Vegas, once a city captivated by the glow of atomic explosions, has moved on to new forms of entertainment. But the memories of those explosive spectacles still linger, reminding us of a time when nuclear tests were a tourist attraction.